Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a massive declutter and I am tackling all of my eyeshadow palettes, which is a lot. This was so necessary and it feels so good to just like get rid of stuff, out with the old, in with the new, like I always say. So I got rid of a ton. I also kept a lot because you guys know this is my full-time job. This is what I do, just reviewing makeup. And I always like to keep different brands and lots of variety in my collection so that I have different products to share with you guys in different videos. So basically I'm going through all of my eyeshadow palettes and giving you guys a quick little rundown on each of them. My favorites, what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of for one reason or another. And when I say getting rid of, it doesn't mean like I'm throwing these products out because I always donate gently used makeup to friends, family, locally, to women's shelters. I've donated to Project Beauty Share in the past. And basically nothing goes to waste. All of the makeup always finds a forever home. And also that being said, I always like to mention this in my declutter videos, but I never give any of my gently used makeup to you guys, to my subscribers, because I just don't feel comfortable doing that. I would just much rather have a giveaway with brand new products, which is what I'm gonna do today for you guys. So this is just a very small way of me saying thank you guys for all of your continued support across all of my platforms. I really, really appreciate you. And to enter the giveaway, it's super easy. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and comment down below anything you want, one comment only, and then just leave me your Instagram or an email where I can contact you in case you're the winner. I'll run this giveaway for a few weeks, maybe even a week. I'll leave like the exact dates and everything down below and then I will add the winners to the description box. But the box of goodies that I have here, I'm gonna be sharing it among two people. It's jam packed with so many different products, different brands, we have some high end, some drugstore, some color pop in there, just a little bit of everything. And yeah, I'm excited because I think this is a really good declutter. It feels good to get rid of stuff and make room for new products. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you grab a snack and let's get into a massive eyeshadow declutter. All right, you guys. So here are all of my eyeshadow palettes and I have them all displayed in my Slay Station. This is from Impressions Vanity. That's what it's called. I will link it down below for you if you're interested. I love this vanity. I've had it for almost a year. I've had no issues with it. It stores a lot of my makeup and my favorite feature is being able to see all of my palettes and everything right on top. Mine don't look very cute because they're all cluttered and overflowing, but normally whenever it's organized, I think it looks very aesthetically pleasing and very pretty. What I'm actually gonna do first is just take all of the palettes out and I did clear out my vanity. I usually have like makeup brushes and stuff on top, but I cleared it all out. That way I have room for all of the palettes. So I'm just gonna put them right on top as many as I can fit. That way we can kind of see what we're working with and then I'll go through each one and I'll let you guys know what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. So So here are all of the eyeshadow palettes. I kind of just had to stack them on top of each other because they wouldn't all fit perfectly flat because like I said, they are overflowing. So I have a pretty good mix here of drugstore and high-end. Honestly, most of these are more affordable palettes. I do have a couple high-end palettes, but most of my collection, honestly, you guys, is like affordable makeup. But that makes me happy because that is what I love. Drugstore makeup is my jam. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here in this little section and then we will work our way down to the rest of the palettes. So first we have this little palette over here from Catrice. So this is the Insta Bay eyeshadow palette. This launched last summer. I actually featured this in a testing new makeup video and I did enjoy it for the time being. It's a cute palette. It's a very neutral palette with like pretty much one little pop of color. That's a pretty color though. You can see it is pretty pigmented and it's a good palette. Like this was really impressive when I did test it out. Like the quality was really good, but I have so many neutral palettes that that's why I feel like I forgot about this. I do like the packaging also and how compact it is. And I love the mirror as well. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this just because I know I'm not gonna reach for it that often anymore. I haven't used it this much anyway within the past year. So it's time to donate. Next up we have the Elf and Jen Atkin palettes. So I have the light one back here and then this is the medium one. I'm gonna go ahead and donate these because although, I mean, I only tested out the light one. I haven't tested out the medium one. They were really nice when I did use them. I just know that I'm not going to reach for these that often. Plus these are limited edition. And I usually always say like, I don't really love to use a lot of limited edition products on my channel because then you guys can't get them and that's no fun. But again, these are really good. If you are looking for a good everyday palette, I like how you get the eyeshadows and then the cheek products right here. I just know that I'm not going to get any more use out of these. So I would rather donate. All right. We have an LA girl. Hey, Hey, vacay eyeshadow palette. These are fabulous. I love these eyeshadow palettes. LA Girl makes really beautiful eyeshadows at the drugstore. I'm actually gonna keep this palette. I love the orangey and the green tones. I feel like this could be a really good summer palette and also a good fall palette as well. I love the big pan sizes, the huge mirror. I mean, this definitely feels like a high-end eyeshadow palette at a really great price, so I'm keeping this. And then we have another little vacay eyeshadow palette from LA Girl. This is the color story in this one. I think I'm gonna keep this one because I feel like I have a dupe for this eyeshadow palette, or I feel like this is a dupe, I should say, for a different eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna keep it if I don't end up 
with using it, I will just donate it. But like I said, these are really beautiful. If you need some good, affordable drugstore eyeshadows, LA Girl is where it's at. And they have a ton of these little palettes in a bunch of different colors. And next up, we have the Aurora Alter Ego Palette. It's kind of like a little tongue twister, but I actually have never used this eyeshadow palette. I said I was going to do like a dupe comparison video because I believe this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I just never got around to it because I had tested out a different eyeshadow palette from Alter Ego and I wasn't super impressed. So I was like hesitant to try this out. I also have a ton of these colors in my collection, like these warm, like sunset tones. So I'm going to go ahead and donate this because I mean, it's basically a brand new palette. I haven't even swatched it and I just know that I'm not going to get any use out of it. This next palette is also from Alter Ego. It is the Goddess Palette. I keep going back and forth with this and like, do I want to use it? Do I not? But I don't really have any palettes with these kind of colors. And this is also a dupe for another Natasha Denona palette. But I mean, this looks stunning. I kind of have an idea of a look that I would want to do with this. Maybe honestly, even like a couple different looks. So maybe I'll use it in like a shop my stash video or something coming up because I'm curious about the quality of these colors in here. So I'll keep this one just because again, the color story is different than most of the palettes that I have anyway. We have some Dominique cosmetics here, which I love. So let's start with the latte palette. So this is one of my favorite high end palettes. Something about it. I love it. I know the colors are really simple, very neutral, but the pigmentation is great. I love the formula of these are super creamy and blendable. And I've done many looks with this palette. I love it. So I'm definitely going to keep this because for me, this is a high end staple. And then here I have the latte two palette. I feel like I want to keep it because I love like these colors right here and like how pretty it looks, but I know that I shouldn't because it's really another neutral palette. And it is sort of similar to the latte one palette. I mean, I do feel like it complements it really well. To be honest, I used this palette a couple of times, but I prefer the original, like the first latte palette. I don't know something about it in the color story. I just love, I mean, although these colors are beautiful, I haven't honestly used them. I mostly was sticking to these neutral shades and let's get real. I don't need another neutral palette like this. And so as much as I do want to keep it, I know that if I keep it, I'm probably not going to get a ton of use out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and just donate this because it's a beautiful palette, but I have the first one and I feel like that's enough. Okay. I have this eyeshadow palette from Pacifica. These are hemp infused eyeshadows, which is actually really interesting. I'm actually curious to try out this eyeshadow palette. I haven't used it though ever since I got it. I don't know why. It's one of those things that like I said, I was going to get around to using and I just ended up using other palettes and it kind of got lost in the bunch, but it looks beautiful. I do like all the different colors in here as well. But again, these are kind of colors that I feel like I already have in different palettes and like looks that I would create. I feel like I can create with other different eyeshadow palettes. So it's a brand new palette. I'd rather just donate it. Okay. I have this Profusion Upbeat Orange 8 Shade Palette. I'm going to keep this because I kind of want to do like an orangey look, like going into my color series some more. And this looks like such a pretty palette. I love the tones in here. They're very bright. And I normally love Profusion eyeshadows. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to keep this one as well. The Profusion Citrine 10 Shade Palette. I haven't used this yet, but I feel like it complements the other palette that I just showed you guys really well. Like the tones in here are similar, but they're also a little bit different. So I'm going to keep both of these. I always like to keep a variety of different like affordable and drugstore palettes because I do a lot of drugstore content on my channel and I always want to keep it that way. So I'm going to keep both of these. Then I have the Carter Beauty Warm Velvet Eyeshadow Palette. So I actually have another palette from Carter Beauty as well. It's back here. So this one is the Sweet Apricot Palette and it's neutral, but it has a little bit more lighter tones than the Warm Velvet Palette, which you can see the Warm Velvet is a little bit more orangey, pinky, which I prefer personally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the Warm Velvet because again, for drugstore looks, I think it's perfect. And oh, I just dropped it. Okay. Um, so I'm keeping that one and I'm just going to go ahead and donate the Sweet Apricot Palette. I actually never even used this palette. It's brand new. When I bought these, I couldn't see the inside of them because they were covered in plastic. So I kind of just winged it and grabbed both and I ended up loving the other one more. I have another little neutral palette, but this one's from Makeup Obsession. I love the tones in here. I think this is a really soft, like very pretty kind of date night glam eyeshadow palette. I was going to donate, but I think I'm going to keep it because I love a good like soft neutral moment. Next up, I have the Elf and Jay Kissa to the Rescue palette. I'm going to keep this because you can see I did customize it with the stickers. And this is one of my favorite collabs that Elf ever did. It was so beautiful. And the color story in here is stunning. I love all the shades. I actually wish this palette was still available, but it was limited edition. It came out last year, but I'm going to keep it because I feel like it's good for like as a collector's type item. It's just so cute. I have like my babe's name on it, Bernard. So yeah, I got to keep it. This is a good palette. Supreme Nudes from Artist Couture. One of my all-time favorites. The tones in here are like 
soft, warm glam. I'm in love with these tones. You can create a lot of really beautiful looks with this. Very smoky, very neutral. You could even do more glam as well. So this is a great versatile palette, I think, for all year. Again, for like summer, fall. So this I love. I think the quality of these is also amazing. They're very buttery, creamy. So this is one of my favorites. I'm going to keep this. So I just featured this palette in a video that I did last week, a one hour glam transformation. The Love Christina Volume 2 palette. This is beautiful. So this is an indie makeup brand and you can see like how stunning the color story is in here but the pan sizes I love comes with a mirror and these are very buttery and creamy super soft great quality easy to work with so this is a good brand to support and definitely check them out they have a ton of other palettes on their website but yeah this is impressive I was shocked with the quality of this it's really really nice and they're different than what you see I feel like in most kind of colorful eyeshadow palettes it's like colorful but still like very wearable so I'm gonna keep this okay we have an Ace Beauté eyeshadow palette this is the Scarlet Dusk palette so I'm gonna donate this because although I love the colors in here again I already have a bunch of colors like this in my collection so I really Really don't need this palette it's beautiful though I have to say I love Ace Beauté also their eyeshadows are really nice we have some ColourPop you guys know I love ColourPop eyeshadows this is a really stunning little palette and these nine pan shadows by the way are amazing quality and they're super affordable I have a coupon code with them by the way if you guys ever want to shop on their website you can use code juicy jazz for 10% off it is an affiliate code you don't have to use it no pressure but it's there if you guys want a discount but anyways this is a beautiful palette but again it's neutral it has some tiny little pops of blue which I think are stunning, but I just know I don't need it. So I'd rather just donate it, even though I do want to keep it, but I'm like, mm, no, let's not be greedy. Let's get rid of it. Now this palette from ColourPop, I love, and I'm going to keep because I love yellow. It's actually my favorite color. And this is a stunning little yellow palette that I think is ideal for summer. It's just beautiful. I've done a couple looks with this and I love it. I always go back to it whenever I want to do a yellow look. It is my go-to yellow palette. I'm also going to keep this Milani Most Loved Mattes palette because I feel like this is a staple to have in your collection. This is a great little matte eyeshadow palette and Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands as well. They have great quality stuff and I love the mattes in here. You can see like it honestly barely looks like I used it because there isn't a ton of fallout or kickback in these shadows. They're really buttery and creamy and this is a good palette. I feel like it's great for every day. It's very simple but I'm gonna keep this. Then I have this Sweet Cheeks Highlight and Contour Palette. This is from the brand Scale Cosmetics, which is an indie makeup brand. So I was gonna use this palette as an eyeshadow palette because for the face, I feel like for me, it's just the colors are a little bit too dark for my skin tone personally, but it is beautiful. I feel like if you're a makeup artist, this is a really nice palette to have in your kit. And you can also double up and use these as eyeshadows as well. So I think this is good for a makeup artist. For me, maybe not so much because I feel like I'm just not gonna get enough use out of it. I have the Araceli Azteca Eyes. Con agave eyeshadow palette. Every time I speak in Spanish, I feel like I get such a heavy accent, like my Puerto Rican and my Guatemalan accent comes through. I feel like mostly Puerto Rican. But anyways, I did like this eyeshadow palette. I tested this out, but I just haven't reached for it that often because again, they're neutrals and have so many neutral palettes. This is beautiful though. I love this brand too. They are a Latina owned beauty brand and they have great products. But again, I just know that I don't need this. So we're going to donate her. I have another drugstore palette. This is from Koki Cosmetics, another brand that I love. This is from their pro collection. I've actually never tried these eyeshadow palettes before and I was going to keep this one but I'm like girl you don't need it. First of all packaging very sleek and simple and then you open it up and you have a nice mirror and then these are all of the colors in here. So these are a little bit different than I feel like most eyeshadow palettes that you see. The color story in here you can see is beautiful. I do like it. Like I said I was going to keep it but I'm like are you really going to like use a lot of the colorful shades Jasmine? No you're going to do another neutral look with it. So we're going to donate her. I have this little opposites attract palette from e.l.f. I haven't used this in so long. I feel like I should do like a drugstore makeup I forgot about like a part two or three because I've done a couple videos like that actually before but I think I'm going to do an updated one soon and use up products that I haven't used in a little bit and this is one of them but I really like this palette. I love the tones in here and this is a good again versatile palette that you could use I feel like in all different seasons like summer, fall, winter. We have an Urban Decay Naked palette. This is the Wild West eyeshadow palette. I actually got this specifically for a video that I have planned that's coming very very soon. Whenever I look at Urban Decay palettes, it just brings me back to when I was like back in high school, like just getting into makeup, 14, 15 years old. It makes me very nostalgic, especially with the fact that like they still come with like a little brush. I love that. But yeah, you guys will see it in action very soon. I am definitely going to keep this Oma Beauty Black Magic Carnival palette. Oma Beauty, I feel like is so underrated. They have really, really great quality products. I love their eyeshadows. Their lip products are amazing. And this is another one of those palettes that I'm going to feature in like a kind of 
shop my stash or like full face nothing new video because the colors in here are beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna keep this. We're making some progress. We're gonna shift gears a little bit, move down towards the rest of the vanity. We have some more Ace Beauté right here. This is the classical Paradise eyeshadow palette. Another beautiful palette. I'm pretty sure I featured this in a shop my stash video. This is stunning. Again, beautiful color story, but you'll see a trend with a lot of the palettes that I have. It's a lot of orangey, yellow, like red, purpley tones. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Although, like I said, I love Ace Beauté eyeshadows. They're great. I feel like it's just very unnecessary for me to keep this because I know I'm not going to use it. Like, I have to be honest with myself. This is another beautiful eyeshadow palette. This is the Blossom Passion Palette. This has more, like, pinky, like, brighter tones in here. A gorgeous summer palette for sure. Sitting here staring at it, like, thinking of a look that I would do. Like, I'm thinking maybe something bright and pink, but I feel like I always do pink and purple looks on my channel. But, I mean, these red tones look really gorgeous as well, but then again, I don't really wear red eyeshadows, so I, I feel like I probably should just get rid of it. We have another Another affordable palette. This one is the LA Colors Nude Muse 18 Color Eye Palette. I actually did a full face of LA Colors. I love this brand. They have really great products. And this is a really soft, kind of pretty palette. I actually don't think I used this one. I used the other one that I have. I'm gonna donate this because I know that I'm not gonna use it. And I kept the Makeup Obsession palette, which I feel like has kind of similar tones to this. Okay, then we have another palette for Makeup Obsession. This is the Belle Jordan palette. This was one of my favorite palettes when it launched. It's so good. And this was a really good collab. I feel like a lot of collabs nowadays, they're just really good. Ugh, the tones, the tones, the tones. But this palette was limited edition, so I feel like I got some good use out of it for the time being, but I'm gonna go ahead and donate just because even if I do makeup looks with it, you guys can't get this palette anymore. Okay, this one hurts a little bit. The So Jaded and Kathleen Lights ColourPop collab. I loved this palette, and I'm thinking about keeping it just because I really love the color story in here, and I really don't have anything like this in my collection, but this is no longer available. I love love the shades in here and like I said the just the colors and everything it's just different so let me know if I should still feature this one in any other makeup videos in the future I feel like a lot of people have this palette let me know if you guys do okay, these next palettes over here I have a lot of like old favorites cult favorites but it's time to say goodbye okay uh, let me stop being dramatic but honestly okay we have the Catrice and Amon eyeshadow palette so this was a collab that launched back in 2019 another favorite can you guys tell I love collabs this eyeshadow palette is just a great neutral everyday go-to palette. I love it. Again, it's just not available anymore. And I have another little neutral palette like this from ColourPop that I'm going to keep instead of this one. We have the Focular Sunrise Eyeshadow Palette. This is another gem. I love this brand. They have really great high quality eyeshadows. They're kind of like a I would say like a dupe brand. Like they have a lot of good dupes on their website. It's like, again, I wanna keep it, but I know that I'm just not really gonna use it, but I, I loved this palette when I did have it. I mean, it was, it's stunning. It's a great quality palette. Then I have the Nude Mood palette from ColourPop. This is my baby. I love this palette. This was a part of my bundle that I did with them last year. And this will forever be one of my go-to everyday palettes. It's beautiful. It's great for every day. It just has like the soft, warm tones that I love. Yeah, I love this palette. I'm keeping, it's, the colors are so rich. Like I said, I love these nine pan palettes from ColourPop because they're just such good quality for the price. Okay, this is another palette that I keep saying I'm gonna use and then I end up just using something different. I don't know what it is about it. I think it's because it's mostly all green. It's the Avocado Toast Palette from BH Cosmetics. And by the way, BH Cosmetics is another one of those brands where you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a beautiful makeup look. They have beautiful quality eyeshadow palettes, face palettes. They kill it every time. But this is a really stunning palette. I'm honestly thinking about maybe keeping this one and getting rid of the other one from LA Girl because I have two of the LA Girl palettes. Hold on. Like if we're looking at it from like a color story perspective, I feel like the BH Cosmetics one is probably a better option because it's a little bit different than most of the palettes that I have. Whereas the LA Girl one on the bottom, like it has like a lot of neutrals, but I feel like this one does too, but it's also just a little bit different. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna donate this one and I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics palette. Like I have to, so we're gonna keep this. Okay, so this next palette I also love and I love Raw Beauty Christie. And this was a really good collab. I did a couple looks with this also on my channel and this is a beautiful formula, beautiful colors. But this is another collab that I feel like was really popular and a lot of people got it. Let me know also if you guys want me to do more looks with like older collabs and palettes like this as well. I always 
always like I said feel bad just because you can't get the palettes anymore but I loved this collab and like I said I love Christie so I'm gonna keep this okay we have another nude eyeshadow palette this one is from profusion now I have a quite a few profusion palettes that I think I'm gonna keep like some of their bigger ones so I'm gonna donate this one just because I have already like a small kind of soft glam palette I have the ColourPop one that I kept the makeup obsession one so I know that I don't need this one but this is a really good palette it's like five dollars and it's like incredible I featured this in other videos before and like I said I love it but I'm think I'm gonna keep some of the bigger profusion palettes that I have and those have a bunch of neutral shades in them so I'm gonna just donate this one but I'm just trying to be rational here you guys you guys know you know we can't keep everything okay we have the elf and Chipotle collab this is another collab that I loved but it was available I feel like for a very limited time I think it was only available for like two three weeks maybe like a month max and then it was gone which is sad because I loved this collab so cute lots of good shades in here but I'm gonna donate this because I don't believe this would ever come back and although I loved the shades and everything in here say it with me I don't need it so then I have another pro collection palette from Koki cosmetics now this I'm gonna keep because again I'm gonna be testing this out in an upcoming video but I love the colors in here like the tones are really soft and pretty with like really small subtle pops of color I know it's another neutral palette but I'm curious about this formula so I'm gonna test it out so yeah I'm gonna keep this then I have the nude troll palette from again scale cosmetics I loved this palette this is soft glam like to the T this is definitely giving me like bridal vibes as well I think this is a beautiful palette also to have in your makeup kit if you're a makeup artist I really really like this so I'm gonna keep this because the tones in here are really pretty I like like the mauvey pinky tones I was just staring at this palette for uh, like another two three minutes like debating if I want to keep it and I think I am because I think this is a beautiful palette for fall like for fall makeup looks so this is the ace Beauté quint essential palette look at the color in here I love them they're so stunning there's like a pretty good mix here of some cool tones we have some warm tones okay yeah I'm keeping this let's do another swatch I haven't used all the colors in here but the ones that I did use are stunning yeah I'm keeping this okay I have the makeup by Mario master mattes eyeshadow palette I love the packaging on this it's so pretty and sleek and it's like very compact so you can see it's like a good size compared to my hand this is so beautiful I love all the colors in here this is an all matte palette so it's like perfect for glam looks or everyday makeup and the reason I kept this is because like again I love neutrals and I love a good matte palette but I don't need this and even if I do like you can get these tones like with so many other palettes so then we have the Too Faced pumpkins spice palette this I'm keeping I love this palette I don't know what it is it unfortunately doesn't smell like pumpkin spice I wish that it did but I loved all the looks that I created with this palette and I feel like you can do a lot with it I know it's Too Faced you can get like so many other like great quality palettes you don't need to spend a lot of money but just something about this palette I don't know I like it and I like to keep you know certain high-end palettes in my collection that I enjoy I have mostly all drugstores so I like to just sprinkle a couple little high-end palettes in the mix and this is a good one so I'm gonna keep this then we have a good one we have the Anastasia modern renaissance palette so I got this palette back in 2016 when it first launched and I'm gonna keep it because it would definitely was one of my all-time favorite palettes and it kind of just brings me back to that time period in YouTube and in makeup and in the beauty industry 2015 2016 were probably some of my favorite times to like do my makeup and to be on YouTube there was so much new content to watch and it was all just about makeup and for some reason this palette kind of just reminds me of that I also used it a lot in college so it kind of just brings me back to that time as well I just feel a lot of nostalgia with this so I feel like it's a good kind of like collector's item because I used it a lot and for years this was like my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette and I wish Anastasia would come out with another palette like this I feel like that would be iconic okay then I have the Colourpop wild child palette I was debating keeping this palette but I have the nude mood palette I just feel like I don't need this one along with the other one that I kept so I'm gonna donate this one but this is a beautiful palette I love these brown like rich brown tones in here they're beautiful I have another palette here from BH cosmetics that I'm gonna keep because again I love BH Cosmetics quality everything it's amazing I think I'm gonna do an updated full face of their products because they make some of my favorite go-to products these little palettes I love and like the color stories are always so fun even like this color alone right here is so beautiful like to do a makeup look with it oh so yeah I'm gonna keep this I have the profusion love you so brunch 21 shade palette this is really really cute love the colors in here lots of pops of color still a couple neutrals as well but I'm gonna donate this because I'm gonna keep a couple other colorful palettes that I have and I actually have two that are on the way so I'm like okay I don't need this eyeshadow palette although it was really beautiful when I used it I really loved and enjoyed like the colors and like the formulas and everything Profusion's a great brand if you don't want to spend a lot of money on shadows 
perfusions where it's at. Okay, then I have a bunch of single shadows here from ColourPop. And I was debating for the longest keeping this eyeshadow palette because especially like the greens, like I wanna do a green look and I wanna do like a purple look and I feel like this palette is perfect for that. But again, I have some colorful palettes that I'm gonna be adding to my collection. And I have this other one here that I'll show you. Hold on, I have to find it. Here we go, I have this palette here. This is from Cara Beauty. I found this palette at TJ Maxx, but you can get it online as well. They have tons of palettes, but I like the colors in here more than the one in the ColourPop palette. So I think if we're talking colorful palettes, I mean, stunning, obviously, but I, I just don't need both. So I'm gonna get rid of the ColourPop one, donate it. I honestly didn't even use a lot of these anyway. I used a couple of them, so it's still in great condition. And then I will keep this one from Cara Beauty because these colors in here I'm living for them then I have another palette here from LA girl this is the main stage eyeshadow palette I really like this I thought I was gonna do a look with it and then I was like eh, I don't know it's for me sometimes it's hard to put colors together because I'm just I feel like not that creative like I just love neutrals and I feel like even if I did do like one or two looks with it I'm not gonna use it a ton to the point where it's worth it for me to keep this palette in my collection so I am just gonna go ahead and donate we have another LA colors palette here this is the nude heat 18 color palette these were super affordable when I did buy them. I believe I got these online. This was a good palette. I think from what I can remember, it wasn't like incredible. Like I wasn't blown away by it or else you guys would have continued to see it in videos, but it was pretty good for the price. And when I did test it out, I didn't use every single shade, but I'm going to donate this again because I have already these colors in my collection. Okay. Two more palettes here that I know I'm going to donate. So we have the new classics palette from e.l.f. And the reason I'm going to donate this is because I have the other opposites attract palette that I, I prefer over this one. This one's more cool to Tones. I mean the colors in here are stunning as well there's like a mixture of warm and mattes and I love this one too but I prefer the other one the opposites attract palette so I'm gonna donate this one but these are great if you need some good like mattes and shimmers in your collection I love these little palettes that they have I have the essence hello Berlin eyeshadow palette it was pretty good I again wasn't blown away by the quality it didn't like literally knock me off my seat so I'm gonna donate this oh this is another really really good collab that I loved the Anastasia and Jackie Ina collab this is beautiful I love the colors in here they're just so rich and vibrant and another really great palette that I think could work with like all different skin tones all different seasons different occasions so I am definitely keeping this because I love the colors in here this is beautiful this is another indie brand this was actually sent to me to my PO box and I'm always so grateful when you guys send your brands and your stuff over I really really appreciate it but yeah this eyeshadow palette looks beautiful it's an 18 pan shadow palette I used this the other day and I really like it so I'm gonna keep this because again I love to support indie brands and have some variety in my collection I have another palette here from Focular Beauty this is the Endless Possibilities palette great pigmentation really really creamy eyeshadows they're really pigmented I don't even want to dip in here because I'm gonna donate this I already touched it enough and used it up a lot but I'm gonna donate this just because I have a couple other bigger colorful palettes with some neutrals in it that I'm gonna keep over this one okay moving into some profusion I guess I should do all the profusion palettes first we have three profusion palettes here I don't need all three of these. We have the Mirage palette. This is like a cult favorite. I love this. I'm going to keep this because I love like the pops in here, the warm tones, the pressed glitters. Probably honestly just get rid of the Festival palette. Wait. Oh, wait, no, do I? Yeah, I should. This is stunning. I also use this up, but I have the other colorful palettes that I showed you guys, so I, I just don't need this. And then I also have this minimalist palette from, uh, I was gonna say ColourPop, Perfusion. I'm gonna keep this because this is a little bit softer than the Mirage palette, so I'll show you guys a little up-close shot of this one. Beautiful, soft tone. So this I'm keeping. Okay, we have some more, making some progress. This Cara Beauty Make a Statement eyeshadow palette. Again, I found this at TJ Maxx. I love like how this looks like a magazine cover. I love the colors in here, it's so pretty. I love the bronzer and the highlighter in here as well. They're just like fun little colors to have and this is just beautiful packaging. I feel like it just looks very aesthetic like just to look at it. So I'm gonna keep this. We have the Barbie X ColourPop, the Malibu Barbie palette. I really like this palette a lot. It's really fun and summery and I'm a huge Barbie fan. Fan, so I feel like for me this is more of like a collector's item too like just to keep because I've always loved Barbie like growing up so I am gonna keep this then we have the Alamar Cosmetics Spanglish palette I love Alamar they are one of my favorite Latina owned beauty brands they have great products but I don't need this palette it's like pink and purple shades so I'm gonna donate her because I think I'm gonna keep a different palette from Alamar and I, I just don't need this okay we have two Urban Decay Born to Run palettes and the reason is I was doing a like campaign with Ulta and I told them 
one that I love, the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. So they sent me another one that way whenever I was like uh, showing it, it would look more obviously presentable because this is my actual palette because I use it up a ton. This is also another like holy grail high-end palette. I just love the colors in here and I find myself using this all throughout the year. It's just one of those palettes that I always go back to. So I'm going to keep this one. I really don't need the other brand new one. I mean, these shadows are going to last me until I'm like 30. So I'm going to keep this one and then I will donate this other fresh palette. Okay, we have the BFF collab with BH Cosmetics, Alondra and Elsie. This was a beautiful collab. I actually didn't even use all of the colors in here, but the ones that I did use were so good. So I'm going to keep this. I don't know if honestly if it's even still available, but I loved the colors in the palette so much that I have to keep it. All right, couple more palettes and then we'll be all done. I have the LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette. I'm sorry if this bothers you. Warning. I love the sound of that. Okay, pink and purple. I love it. These were like my favorite colors growing up <laughs> as a kid. My room used to be purple, but I just know I don't need it. And I already kept one of these eyeshadow palettes from LA Girl and I, I don't need this other one. Actually, I kept two palettes. So yeah, we're going to donate this. I have the Pacifica Magical Eyeshadows Palette. This low-key kind of gives me ColourPop in like So Jaded Kathleen Lights collab vibes a little bit. Like not exact, but a little bit. Uh, so obviously I kept the ColourPop palette. So I'm going to donate this because I think I used one eyeshadow in here. Yeah, it was this color and it wasn't that pigmented. So I was like, eh. I think that's why I didn't end up using the rest of the color in here so I'm gonna donate this I'm sure maybe the rest of them are good I only used one color but I'm looking at both of these Olimar palettes and like I want to keep both of them because I feel like they complement each other really well volume one this was in boxycharm like three years ago I loved this palette so so good really buttery creamy pigmented and then the volume two palette I don't really think I used this much I might have used no actually I might have just swatched these I just I honestly I feel like I don't need both of them at all because I have like these kinds of colors I'm thinking of like the one that I would realistically get more use out of. I wouldn't say this one, but I feel like I already have tons of these like blue, like pops of blue in my warm tone palette. So we're going to donate, but you know, I love Olimar and we're saving the best for last. This is like perfect timing because Tati uploaded her video last week. So she is officially back. This palette is it, you guys. Like this is everything and more. Like I've already hit pan on this right here, this glitter, and I'm actually going to hit pan on that one too. I love everything about this palette. I mean, the quality, the color story, this is such a versatile palette. I think if you're a makeup artist or if you're just a makeup lover, you can do so many looks with this. I feel like this is also good for like brides or just in general. This is a stunning eyeshadow palette. I think if there's one palette that you splurge on that I talked about today, it's this one, to be honest, the Tati Beauty. This is hands down like one of the best palettes ever. Okay, so these are all the palettes that I am gonna be keeping. I know it's still a lot, trust me, I know. Nobody needs as many eyeshadow palettes, but you know, it's the job, it's what I do, and I like to have some variety of different brands and colors and palettes so that I feature different things on my channel so it's not too repetitive, even though, when I love a product, I keep using it over and over again, but these are the palettes here that I am gonna be donating. So I think I did pretty good. There's like a pretty good mix here. So I just put all the palettes back into the vanity and this is what everything looks like. Still, like I said, a lot of eyeshadows I know. And I love the mixture. I love this drawer by the way, but I love the mixture that I have of drugstore, high-end, affordable, indie. Like I think I have a pretty good mix here, which makes me very happy. And I love the way this looks right here. So pretty. And this drawer doesn't go out all the way because I have my filming table right here, but this is what everything looks like. Oh, there's me and my double chin. We love that. So we have one more little section to go through and then we'll be all done with this super long video. I was like, oh, this declutter is gonna be short. <laughs> No. This is the last little section here that I have full of smaller eyeshadows, like little palettes. These are all actually mostly drugstore and affordable as well. So in this section here, this is actually the only palette that I have that is high end. Everything else is drugstore and ColourPop. So this is the Kitty Likes to Scratch palette from Too Faced. The names that they have always crack me up. This is just a little neutral eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna donate this. I think I used this once and it might've just been two of the colors. Okay. 
Okay, I have to give a quick shout out to these LA Girl palettes. So these are the LA Girl Keep It Playful eyeshadow palettes and these are such good quality. They are beautiful. Like when I tried these out, I was shocked at how amazing the quality these are for the price. So these are my two favorites. They're both great for every day. Obviously, if you like warm tones, if you like more cool tones, these are great. But yeah, you get nine eyeshadows in here, mattes and shimmers, and these are definitely a good like drugstore staple. If you don't want to have a big palette, these are it. So I wanted to shout them out because they're good. So I'm keeping these. I have all of these palettes here from ColourPop. These launched back in the winter time, like January, February. I used this one right here, this like purpley one, and it was really good quality, but I don't really reach for these that often. I feel like I don't need all of these. So I'm going to donate the purple. I'm also going to donate the warm tone palette right here. This one is the Crush pressed powder palette. The purple one, by the way, was the Amour pressed powder palette. I think this is the only one that I want to keep. It is the Lyric pressed powder palette. And I'm also going to donate this one right here. It has like pinky mauve tones. This one is the Cherish pressed powder palette. I have this little Ultimate Nudes palette from Makeup Revolution. I haven't gotten a chance to actually use this. I forgot about this. So I'm going to keep this. I was going to keep these little Essence palettes, but I think I'm just going to get rid of them. This is what they look like right here. I'm just going to donate these. They're really cute little palettes, but I know that I I already have colors like this. And then this is the Energy eyeshadow palette. Very, very pretty, but yeah. I prefer the LA Girl palettes. I mean, I haven't used these, but I prefer the color stories of these versus these from Essence. I have all of the e.l.f. Bite Size eyeshadows. These actually aren't every single one of them, but it's like a lot of them. I love these for three, four dollars, however much these cost. They are incredible. If you need just quick, easy shadows, if you're on the go, I'm obsessed with these. So I'm going to keep all of these because I actually do use these up, especially when I do like really simple glam. Okay, we have a little Believe Beauty six pan eyeshadow palette that I'm going to keep. I've never used this one before, but I think for like an affordable, maybe like nothing over 10, nothing over $5, I could use this up and maybe try it out. So I'm going to keep this. I also have this little trio that I found at Dollar Tree. This is from LA Colors, and I'm going to keep this as well because I think, again, for everyday makeup or affordable makeup looks, this could be a good palette. I love this shade right here for the crease. It's beautiful. Okay, <laughs> I was just staring at these also because I remember loving these CoverGirl eyeshadow palettes, and I feel like nobody talks about CoverGirl anymore, like their eyeshadows, but I really liked these. They're very very creamy and pigmented. I know I don't need them both, but they're stunning and I'm debating if I want to use them in a video or if maybe I could just stick to other more, maybe more popular palettes that are out. Um, I guess my cousin always says if you have to think about it too much, then just don't, don't keep it, don't get it. So I'm going to donate these. <laughs> and these I will be donating. So that is it for this eyeshadow declutter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Good luck to all of you guys. I love you all, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.